morning ladies it's sandra ttc 45 coming at you with a ttc update so today is stem day six and it is the third day from the last um re appointment so today is just my second day of monitoring and um i didn't find this monitoring um Encouraging, put it that way. I, I I felt that I left with not so good news, even though the ultrasound tech begged to differ. She thought it was good news, but I didn't think it was good news because when I was there three days ago, I had um, um, my follicles had already jumped out there on the right side. They was already at a size 13 millimeters at only day three of stems, which I had only had two days of medication. The left side was like at a 10 and 11. So I goes in today, which they scheduled my appointment for three whole days later. And I was surprised that they didn't decrease the medication. I thought, I just knew they was gonna decrease the medication, but they didn't. Today, they had me to come back and already the right side done went from 13 millimeters to 19 millimeters. I just knew when I went back, they was gonna be at 16. And that may sound good, but here's what I think is not so good. Number one, I don't have as many follicles produced in my ovaries as I did last month. Last month, I had five to seven follicles in both ovaries. Um, when I ovulated from the right side, the five um, I, um, follicles that was left in the right side, they stopped growing. The five follicles that was left in the left side, they continued to grow. And those were the five follicles that they retrieved. Now, of the five follicles that they retrieved, only three of them was mature. Now, at trigger day, my follicle sizes were, I want to say 20, 19, 19, 18, and 16. That was my um, trigger day follicle size on um, last IVF cycle. The embryologist told me that only three of them was mature. So if three was mature and all three of those mature ones uh, fertilized, that means that the um, size 18 and a size 16 was not mature. Even though at, what was that? Um, at trigger time, I still took one more dose of medication. So that means that they should have been matured by the time the retriever, but they was not. So with that being said, going back to this cycle, these follicles that's in my ovaries now, all of them are size 19, which is only four. four three of them are size 19, one of them is a size, no. One is a size 20, and the other three are a size 19. Something like that, I don't remember. It was somewhere around 19 or 20. So they don't want them to get past that because once they trigger you, they're still gonna be growing and they don't want them to get too big because then they be overcooked. But it also depends on the estradiol results, which I won't get that back to later. The higher the estradiol, the more they know that the follicles are ready. If the estradiol is still low, that means that some of these follicles are not mature. And I already know that the follicles in the left ovary are not mature because the left ovary is not past 14. I think maybe one is at 15. One of them is at 15, but the rest of them are at 14. It would be nice if they could get the left side to at least make it to 19 before they trigger me. But at the same token, it's going to compromise the right side because it's going to make the right side overgrow. And so I either have to go with what I've produced 
uh, or cancel the cycle. And I'm not canceling this cycle. Not after going through all them painful shots. It's not going to happen. So this will be my final IVF cycle even if it does not uh, work out because this is more than enough uh, for me. I think actually my body is not responding well to this stuff. Uh, my body is basically doing its own thing, you know. Um, it, it just, I have no clue why I have follicles that just keep overgrowing like that. I really don't know. Um, it would be a good thing if I was the type that, if I was still young and I had a whole lot of follies left up in there, that would be a good thing. But when you 45 years old and you are already over the hill, that's not a good thing. So, I didn't leave there on a positive note. I'm still waiting for the results. The results is going to determine whether they're going to trigger me tonight. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So, I just wanted to let you guys um, know that. I also want to talk about something else. The other day, um, I was looking at a vlog by Tamika TTC. And I'm not tech savvy like that, so I don't know how to implant um, people's pages and all that. But if you guys don't know who she is, I will love for you to go and look her up, Tamika TTC, and show her some love. Um, she's going through this journey just like we all are going through this journey. And it's taking its toll on her. And I understand exactly what she's going through her and i both only been at this for like six months but it feel like six years so i just really can't imagine those of you who's been doing this for over a year two and three years this stuff is exhausting it is physically and it is mentally exhausting and um i'm not sure that i can continue on i have so many you know flip-flop um emotions about this one minute i'm excited about doing this the next minute it's like is this god way of telling me that i shouldn't be doing this you know i'm just not really as enthusiastic about this as i used to be and i know i've mentioned this in videos before but it's always good to have our ttc community uplifting each other you know and right now i want to uplift her and i want you guys to follow me to uplift her because i want this journey bad more for her than i do for myself god has blessed me with four children so i'm happy with that if i'm not able to conceive then that's okay that's okay with me you know what's draining me is the process it's not the fact that i can't conceive it's the process that i'm going through trying that's what's draining me you know but those of uh the ladies out there who don't have any kids and they're starting to reach their the peak of their age those are the ones that really need our love our blessings uplifting prayers i want this more for her than anybody well not just than anybody but i want this more for all of you ladies out there who don't have any kids than those of us who do have children okay so i'm gonna ask that you guys even if you can't find her just keep her in your prayer and 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 pray that she will get that rainbow baby sometime this year coming up now i do have options and my option is to go with a donor um um egg person and and i have to say that i'm truly blessed to have that option only because of my insurance uh, my insurance actually covers me to choose a donor they actually rather me choose a donor than try to do this on my own because they know that i will be more successful in one shot than keep trying and trying using up all my shots on myself because they have to pay for this so that is my next step if this doesn't work and um I'm not saying that I'm looking forward to that because truthfully I'm not. I really wanted to conceive my own child. But I'll get into the donor issue 
and want and tell you why I am considering donor when I get to that point. And I know I've mentioned this before. So um, those of you who are out there that are still trying, don't give up. Don't give up because of me not doing good with my trying or the next girl is not doing good with her trying. Everybody's body, they respond differently. I have been searching and searching for women my age who have gone through IVF to see had it worked for them. Almost every woman that I came across, none of them, it worked for them. Even the women who have had 20 eggs. I saw one where a lady had 20 eggs retrieved and 18 of the 20 eggs was fertilized. She had her eggs PGD and won none of them of good quality. So it doesn't matter how many eggs you produce, whether they be a lot, whether they be a little, that don't even matter. It is quality over quantity. So don't think just because you produce a short amount of eggs that it's not gonna work for you. It is quantity over quantity, okay? I've been doing everything I could this whole entire year to um, um, increase egg quality. Hopefully, it worked this time. You know, I was reading about some of the meds, the supplements that I'm taking, Actually, a lot of those supplements take six months to go through your system before it would actually start showing improvement. Some of them supplements like my DHEA and my air argentine, I just started taking that six months ago. So maybe this may be my time, even if I don't only get before eggs, I don't know. Well, we'll see. All I need is one and that's all I needed the last time and it didn't work. But I did hear a little bit of encouraging news when I came across one lady who was my age, 45 years old. She had her first IVF and she, she actually got her own website. And I, I don't even remember the name of the website, but she talked about how her and her husband went to see a RE and was given the whole, you need to use a donor speech and she felt like, okay, well, that's fine and dandy, but to give me a piece of man, I want to try with my own eggs. So she tried with her own eggs, and she produced 10 eggs. Of the 10 eggs, all 10 were fertilized, and seven of them made it to the blastocyst stage, and three of them was transferred, and she had her rainbow baby at the age of 46. So it could be done. It's not like it cannot be done. So I'm not totally giving up on myself. I'm just, again, praying for the best, but expecting the worst. I just have to prepare myself because I just don't know if it's going to work. But if I truly still want to become pregnant, I'm going to have to deal with the choice of moving on with the donor. So I'm going to give you guys an update later today as to what my estradiol was and as to whether the doctor is going to decide to trigger me or not. I'm really hoping not tonight. At least give me one more day, hopefully, to get that left side caught up to at least a size 16 because they say if they're at least a size 16, Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they can get a mature egg out of them by the time retrieval get here. So I'm just hoping that that is the case. Um, but again, I don't know how um, they're going to respond based on my estradiol. So um, I'll be making sure that you guys see the clip and right after this. Have a good day, ladies. Hey ladies, okay, I'm back. I um, just received my um, blood test results back and needless to say, they was not good. They was not good at all. Uh, first of all, I was wrong when I stated that all of my follicles in the right side were 19 and above. That turned out not to be true when I got the actual results back. Um, there were one at 22, one at 20, 
one at 19 and the other one was at 11. So the 11 is not even where it should be. So right now there's only three follicles out of the, a total of eight that I have. There's only three of them that has reached maturity. And the blood test estradiol was only 481, I think it was. And if you guys remember when I told you last time that um, in order for the doctors to determine if the eggs inside the follicles are mature, they have to be at least, my PGN has to be at least um, 200 per follicle. So if there's three eggs, I mean three follicles in there that is a size 19 and up, all three of those should have mature follicles in there. So my estradiol should at least be above 600, but it's not. It's only at 400 and some. So that means there's only two mature follicles. And I'm just not even, I don't even want to go through this. I, I mean, I'm I'm just done. I'm just done with this whole process of IVF and I just refuse to have them to stick a needle through my um, cervix just to get up to my ovaries to pull out three eggs that only two of them is going to be fertilized. And then I have to waste my um, good sperm specimen to try to fertilize two eggs. It's just not going to happen. So I'm just basically now waiting on the portal um message to let me know what's the next step i'm more thinking that i'm gonna get a phone call instead of a portal message usually when i get the phone call that means that it's bad news and um i'm thinking that they probably are going to cancel the cycle themselves if they don't i'm definitely am going to cancel the cycle because i'm not going to go through all of that for just those couple of um mature follicles and then waste time pain and uh my specimen for that that's just not even worth it so now i'm just going to make it through the holidays focus on um whether or not i'm going to move forward with the donor and then by january i'm going to decide um who i'm going to choose and then start the process so I am going to clip another video to this video um, after I talk to the um, clinic, either through portal or by telephone, so I can give you guys an update and let you know exactly what's going to happen with this cycle. But I'm almost sure this cycle is a done deal. Have a good day, ladies. Evening, guys. So I finally got my portal message back from the clinic i actually thought i was going to be expecting a phone call but i got a portal message and it took them so long to respond till i became nervous because they usually respond through the portal between 2 30 and 3 i didn't get no response till 4 and it's just a little after 4 now so um anyway the porter didn't have any specifics it just told me to continue the medication and uh, return back on Sunday. So I'm just assuming that the reason why they stated that is because they're thinking that maybe the um, oversized follicles that they're seeing could be um, cyst, um, considering I just had a IVF just a month ago. Um, not even, not, yeah, it's been a month now. So uh, when you've had an IVF treatment and you run right into the next treatment, um, you can um, cause yourself to develop cysts. And they don't always see the cysts right away. When you start pumping yourself with the hormone medication, the cyst starts to overgrow real quick. And that was probably the reason why the... Um, the follicle size is so large and there's no high estradiol. The estradiol uh, clearly proves that there's no eggs um, in at least one or two of those follicles. So they want me to continue uh, with the meds, maybe because they are um, looking forward to the left side producing um since the left side is still going at the right rate that it should be going 
and then there's also two in the right side that's going at the rate that it should be going so i'm not sure if they're looking for those two or what they're doing but at this moment they have not um canceled the cycle i have not canceled the cycle because i don't know what their plans are um and um We'll just see what happens. So I'll up, update you guys on Sunday. Have a good weekend. Bye.